Excited to be here with you this morning. Do you feel transformed? Yeah. Like a lot or just a little bit? Like super transformed, right? Well, I want to say, here we go. There we go. I want to say that this is kind of like a pinch me moment for me. I was sitting by Michelle Barnes yesterday while Lauren was speaking on stage, and I said, Lauren is on a Modair stage, <laughs> and we're at her convention. Can you believe this is happening? Just really, truly magical, magical stuff. And I want to say thank you to you guys, to your leaders, right? But to every single one of you for how gracious and generously spirited you are, for how open you've been to share your baby. By yourselves, your baby. And you're sharing it with us. And from the start, Lauren's been saying, you have no idea. Idea. You have no, well, we're starting to get the idea. And Nancy Howard, thank you for being willing to jump on calls and teach us about the product. And Mike, is Mike down here, Mike Latuka, thank you for being just like so eager, like let us tell you how to use it. You gotta use it in the right way to get the results. We're just like, we love you guys so much. And Patty, sitting with Patty and Caitlin at Village Inn on a Saturday morning with Lauren, when I heard stories about what this product has done for people, tears streaming down my face, like, this is a marriage. This is a divine marriage, let me just say that. And I'm so excited for how warmly you have welcomed us. And I hope you feel that we're here to do the same for you. Last night, I was out doing a three-way call, and, um, and Dr. Kathy walked by with a Modere t-shirt on. <laughs> I just thought, this is heaven. And then to this sweet woman who I, I don't remember your name, but who called me over, <clears throat> we had a hug, and then you said, you know, we have, speaking of your friend, we have some ambitious things that we want to accomplish before we retire financially. And then with tears in your eyes, you said, for the first time, we believe it's possible. <laughs> you own my heart wherever you are. And guess what? It's not just possible. It's not just probable, prob probable. It is inevitable. And we're here to help you with that. So my part is that I want to share with you 30 years of Live Clean Science. Um, and I also want to disclose, like I'm going to be extremely transparent. When I joined this company back in 1989, I know, right? Six years old, um, 1989. I did not buy this whole Live Clean stuff. I got in for a beauty product. I was super excited. I believed that every home in America was going to own this beauty product, and me and my team were going to sell it, and everybody was going to get rich. But this, these founders kept talking about these toxic ingredients that are in everyone's products and how they're so bad for you. And I just thought, that is the most negative message I have ever heard. Sit down, be quiet. We will make you millionaires with this beauty product. Negative message. I didn't believe that regulatory agencies would allow this kind of stuff to exist in products if it was really, really bad. I didn't believe that if you put something on your skin, it could really be that bad. Like, I don't see people dropping dead after they shampoo their hair. I just didn't buy it. Well, that all changed for me. In 1998, when I sat in a convention and a gentleman was introduced, the world's leading toxicologist for avoidable environmental toxins. He, is the, he had written the Safe Shoppers Bible, Breast Cancer Prevention, Politics of Cancer, and he comes to the stage. His name is Dr. Samuel Epstein. And as he speaks, he says, He's the chairman of the Cancer Prevention Coalition. He says, I warmly congratulate you for your pioneering work in removing toxic ingredients from personal care products. I want to say in my 25, at that point, years of cancer prevention, that you have done more for the prevention of cancer on this planet than I have. My work is pale in comparison. And it was one of those moments, I had chills all over my body. I have chills right now after all these years. And I just thought, oh my gosh, I've lived to, to see this come full circle where we're being acknowledged by the world's authority on this stuff. So then at that particular convention, I think he was so grateful that there was a company that was doing what we were doing all that long time ago before it was cool to be clean and non-toxic and have greener products. But I think he didn't understand the business model. By the next convention, he understood the power of people 
talking to people. And speaking of us as distributors, at the time he said, you, my friends, are doing the work of God. Because in his English accent, you are doing the work of God because you have picked up where government and regulatory agencies have failed us. Every human being has a right to know things that will impact their health. And it is not coming from the top down because it is big business. You are my foot soldiers. You are doing the work of God. It was in that moment that this became a mission for me. And what I learned then within a year or so, he invited me to sit on the board of directors of the Cancer Prevention Coalition. I've been by his side for 12, 15 years, learning everything I could about how horrific the impact is of these daily exposures that we might want to trivialize. But these exposures are birth till death. In fact, pre-birth, right? Babies get exposed to this stuff in, their, in the womb. They're birth till death, dawn till dusk exposures and they have an impact on our health or the lack thereof. One in four people will die of cancer. One in two men will get cancer. One in three women will get cancer in this lifetime. Can we really afford to be cavalier about any exposure that could potentially contribute to those numbers? There are toxic exposures that we cannot control. The air. For example, we cannot boycott it, can we? Oh, I refuse to breathe the air. It's toxic. See how well that goes. But we can control what we put on and in our bodies. And that is ours to control. So this became a mission for me. 30 years of Live Clean and Science, let's tell, tell, tell you some of the first things I learned. First of all, I learned about surfactants. Right, when we only, we only had, in the very beginning, 1989, we only had about 15 ingredients that we refused to use. One of them was sodium lauryl sulfate. We've been sulfate free for 30, or for 30 years, right? Sulfate free. This is long before anyone even knew what a sulfate was. But what I learned about surfactants is there's a broad range of surfactants. And SLS, sodium lauryl sulfate, is a harsh engine degreasant. It can strip garage floors of wax. It's known to cause hair loss, and if it gets in children's eyes, it can it contribute to eye, eye problems with children. So that's sodium lauryl sulfate. We remove sodium lauryl sulfate. There are also a range of surfactants. That in a formula, for those this might be a new word for, is the thing that creates the bubble, right? And so there are surfactants that are really robust, but highly gentle. And so we use safe surfactants, propylene glycol, also, the stuff that they spray on airplanes, have you ever been de-iced by an airplane? On an airplane, not by an airplane, <laughs> on an airplane. Have you ever been, seen that happen? They're using propylene glycol. If you look at the MSD, the material safety data sheet on that, it says that it causes liver and kidney abnormalities and liver problems, right? So um, propylene glycol. And then very early on, diethanolamine, triethanolamine. These are known cancer-causing ingredients. You'll still find them on labels in, in stores, shelves throughout America. They've been banned in Europe for 20 years. Banned in Europe for 20 years. And I learned about pegs and phthalates. We, in conjunction with the Environmental Working Group and, uh, and something called the Not Too Pretty campaign, phthalates, P-H-T-H-A-L-A-T-E-S, phthalates, they leach, right, from, they can be in plastics, they're plasticizers. So there was, in this Not Too Pretty campaign, um, they, they pulled, the Environmental Working Group, pulled 65 products off of shelves. Not one of them disclosed phthalates on the label. When tested, 57 of, them, 57 of them had phthalates in them. And it's because phthalates can hide in fragrance. So when you see fragrance on one of our labels, what you can know is that it is an EU-approved fragrance. There are some that are not neurotoxins or excitotoxins. There are some that have passed all allergen tests, or you can know that it's an essential oil. But the, 
the challenge in all of this is how can you know, if it's not on the label, how can you even make a judgment, right? <sighs> if you don't want to be a scientist, you can find a company you trust. So on this timeline here, right, this is taking you kind of from my beginning exposures in 1998, a turning point for me. In 2003, the European Union, who really watches out for their citizens, right, really good at public advocacy for their citizens, they, they uh, launched something called the Seventh Amendment. It really was a cosmetics directive. And in this, they banned all CMRs, carcinogens, mutagens, and reproductive toxins. That's the problem with phthalates, right? That's their en endocrine mimics. Endo en they're endocrine disruptive, they're estrogen mimics, and they can wreak havoc with the reproductive system of unborn children, just saying. So in this Seventh Amendment, they banned 1,100 ingredients. And so what's interesting is multinational companies that make products for the United States they have to make a different product free of all CMRs when they put that product into the European Union or it would be banned. So here we've got the reckless formula in the United States and in the European Union they have a compliant formula. Interesting. You can't say that big industry doesn't know because they're forced to be compliant in other regions of the world. Um, in 2007, I was doing a, tra a trade show in Ann Arbor, Michigan, and there was a little tiny article saying that Kimberly Clark and Johnson & Johnson were being called out, the article was this big, 2007, because their baby products have one for dioxane, a known carcinogen, the same compound used in Agent Orange, with Agent Orange in the, in the Vietnam War to defoliate the jungle. <laughs> in baby shampoo! in 2007, and formaldehyde. We embalm people with that. What is it doing in baby shampoo? For the love, what gives here? But guess what, you don't hear much more about it from 2007 because guess what? People hadn't started using their pocketbook vote to object. As soon as it starts hurting them in the pocketbook, amazing how they want to change their formulas, isn't it? Finally, 2016, 2017, Johnson & Johnson, Kimberly Clark, changed a bunch of their formulas because the public, the, the, the public tide, the public voice got loud enough. They finally changed their formulas. All the while saying, but those ingredients aren't really that harmful, but we're doing it, we're doing it, right? So like, who's watching out for you? I'll tell you who gets my pocketbook vote the company that was doing it before they were economically compelled to. They did it, they removed toxic ingredients because it was the right, right thing to do. And so my vote goes to Modere, who was cool and clean before it was cool to be clean. Now you realize, you saw that great video on manufacturing. Do you realize how few companies actually manufacture? Most companies get a product formula that they choose from a book and then they put their label on that product. They have no idea what's really inside that product, but we do. We control every step of the process from concept, we create the formulas from concept to countertop. And we follow that product every, every step of the way through its formulation. We triple test our products. So when we receive the raw ingredients, every time a raw ingredient comes into our manufacturing facility, it comes with a certificate of manufacture. This certificate of manufacture will tell you purity, potency, authenticity. It will say, um, you know, no, no GMO, no irradiation, um, no pesticides, no herbicides. Well, guess what? We do our own independent testing. And with our sophisticated testing equipment, sometimes we find that even though it was certified to meet certain criteria, it in fact does not. And we reject those ingredients. Who does that? Who does that? 
And then we test it every step of the way to make sure that the label claim is accurate and that there, it, it has the same purity and potency and the label claim is going to be accurate. And then we test the finished goods. And then we take every single formula that we create, we put them in stability chambers where they are subjected to heat and moisture. And then, and we have several bottles from every single batch. And then we test them every three to six weeks for six years. Who does that? So when you take a Modere product in your hand, you can know that it is absolutely a miracle. Because to create formulas that work, that have none of these toxic ingredients that are foundational ingredients in a lot of formulas on the market, to make a product without those ingredients is like being asked to bake a cake without flour, sugar, shortening, eggs, or water. Good luck on that. And so when you take a Modere product in your hand, you can know that our research scientists, they're not just developers. They're not just researchers. They are artists. They're artists. I really like this concept. Raymond Francis wrote, Raymond Francis wrote a book called Never Be Sick Again. And in that book, he purports that there is only one disease, only one disease, and that is cellular malfunction. It's when the cells break down and don't work very well and start duplicating unhealthy cells. And he said there are only two causes of that one disease. One is nutritional deficiency, and the other is excess toxicity. Look at our world today. Look at our fast, our fast food lifestyles and how we are getting less nutrition because the soils aren't as rich. If it doesn't come into the soils for our foods, what is the source, right? How do we get it? Minerals aren't in the soil anymore. How do we get these basic nutri nutrients? And excess toxicity, look at our world. It is, ex we're exposed to more toxic exposures than we ever have been in the history of the world. So while, like I said a minute ago, you can't mitigate every toxic exposure, but there are some things you can control. You can control what you put on and in your body. You can control what products you have in your home. We've had people go through their cupboards with just a short list of ingredients to compare and literally throw out everything and completely convert their home to Modair. And so from the outside in and the inside out, right, we mitigate toxic exposures coming in. We give them viable, amazing nutritional support to bolster immunity. And hello, BioCell. Oh my gosh, that product. I am so lit up about what that product can do. I was getting my hair colored the other day and I'll taking extra antioxidants during that, right? That little toxic thing. And I could not be quiet about it. I am gripped by the results of this product that I've seen that you've so beautifully shared with me, bringing tears to my eyes. And everybody in the salon is getting BioCell because I can't be quiet now that I know. I hope that in the time we've spent here together for a minute, that you start to get that lit up about the part of the marriage that we bring to you. I hope you take this mission on with us to create 10 million healthy homes by the year 2020. So, you now have a broad line of daily essentials that like BioCell, change people's lives. Let me say a quick word about our nutritional products. So with our nutritional products, because I've said so much about the Live Clean mission, with our nutritional products, when you see an ingredient on the label, you can know that it's, it is there at researched doses for efficacy. We don't just put something on the label to be a little gimmicky and make you think that there's wonderful stuff in there. Let me just tell you um, about a Clarkson University study that was done with the New York State Attorneys General. So they pulled products that list um, herbal ingredients, ginseng, St. John's wort, echinacea, as the number one ingredient on the label. And they took them from Walmart, they took them from Whole Foods, they took them from a lot of different mom, pa, um, uh, uh, health food stores. And when they tested these, four out of five contained none 
of the first ingredient on the label? None. I told you about our process, testing it every step of the way and then testing it for six years, every handful of weeks. Like, who can you trust here, right? When you see it on our label, it's their research doses of efficacy. We also use the right ingredient relationships, so they synergistically work together. Our nutritional products are profound, and a couple of areas that I think you're going to really enjoy as companions to BioCell, when I look at people that have challenges with their health, I always think of gut health, right? The first line of defense. So we've got great, great products. We have probiotics, digestive enzymes. That's such an important part of health, gut health. And the other thing I think about is alkalizing, because dis-ease cannot exist in an alkaline environment, and it proliferates in an acid environment. So we've got some great companion products for you that will help bolster immunity and help your beloved biocell work even better. And so, my friends, one sweet thing that you've got now is that you've got that gift of redirected spending. People are already buying these products every day, every week, every month anyway. Why wouldn't they redirect their purchases to the safer, cleaner, greener products of Modere? And they're safe, which is not easy to do. But guess what? Sometimes safe products don't work. Have you found that out? You get a glass cleaner and you're like, this stuff streaks my glass. You get a clean, um, laundry soap, and it's like, well, good, no toxic ingredients, but uh-oh, guess what? The clothes don't get clean. So to find products that are safe, that also work, and that are affordable? Who's doing this? Who's doing it? Everyone can say yes to Modere. And gray water certified? Gray, gray water meaning that the minute they go down the drain, they can water a garden and all's well. Like we're good stewards of the environment too. You guys, here's what I know. Your dreams have found their home. Here's what I know. You will achieve those dreams and we are by your side to help that happen. Thank you to our management team. Thank you to Ozma, who had the vision to create this marriage, we are family. Your board of doctors is going to continue to collaborate with ours. And let me say this, where we are about to go together is bigger than any place we have been yet. I know this to be true. And I love you and welcome you with all of my heart.